as you have trusted to everybody who has trusting me, you have the attitude, you have the attitude. So one of my overall God's voice, now he is an engineering student. He came to me and asked, Father, I want to call me Father. Father, why everybody is calling you the attitude? Which way attitude are you? <laughs> <laughs> then I said, he is called Philip, my dear Philip, I am not yet a beatitude. But they are wishing that I should become a beatitude and I will be, if I become a beatitude, the mind the beatitude. And then he just smiled. But I tell you, every one of us should become a beatitude, not a mental attitude. <laughs> Especially the girls here will not become my attitude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you have to become a bad attitude. That attitude means a blessing. You should be a blessing for your family, for your church, for the world, for humanity. That is our vocation, to become a bad attitude, a blessing. Jesus said, blessed are you, blessed are you, blessed are you eight times. And he will repeat every, with every one of you, blessed are you. And he will be entering heaven with this blessing. So every one of us should become a beatitude. And this, Pastor Boy himself, when he was young, he was assisting at my own, uh, my mom's you know, He came one day weeping. He was late. I was uh, resting myself and ready for the man, looking for him. Then he came weeping and said, uh, for grandmother died. Then I said, don't worry, Philip. He was already 90 years old. And we gave him communion and everything yesterday. So she, I, she, had, she had a good death. Uh, so don't worry. So I flapped him like that. And then he said, that is not father. Tomorrow is my birthday. And tomorrow is the birthday. How can I? <laughs> So he said, he cannot celebrate the birthday. So what I say is that when you are children, these are the things that make you sad. This is me. But when you become old, there will be greater things to, to do. One day one professor was taking class. I'm saying a small, small anecdote. Professor was taking class and then uh, he was saying about the works work. So the works work lived in the 16th century, as you know. And then he, about him, the professor said, I don't know, I, I'm sorry, he was speaking about Dryden, Dryden who lived in the 13th or 12th century. And he said, Dryden was a critic, but he has not said even a word about works work, the professor said. And then, uh, maybe that he did not appreciate the poems of words what he said, Dryden. And then there was an intelligent boy, like our Jibu there, you know. And then uh, he stood up and said, uh, Sir, that is not the reason. Dryden lived in the 12th century. How can he speak about the boy who lived in the 16th century? Oh, then the boy said, That may be another reason. <laughs> that means, but his head is already there. There was a Jesuit, very intelligent Jesuit. He went to his superior and asked, Can I smoke when I meditate? Superior, what are you asking? Smoking while meditating. He was disappointed in him. After one week, the superior was changed to the new superior gate. Then he asked, Father, can I meditate while smoking? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so some of you are very clever like this Jesuit. <laughs> you play the tricks with your father, your father or mother and do things which you like. So be careful about it. <laughs> one day one bishop was waiting, not bishop, but not yet. Waiting with two priests for the train. And uh, they were talking about the nice markets and so on, the problems and other things. Train. They were waiting for the train. Train came. Everybody entered. These people were kind of talking. They did not know that the train came. So everybody entered. 
the last moment of the train said, Oh, Bishop, this is our train, we have to do. So they made a happy very and two entered, but in, one, did not, one did not enter. Who is the one? The bishop. <laughs> two entered. And then the train went away. And the bishop was very sad. And he was looking sad, he came in this one man and asked, What happened, bishop? You see, the train came, we were three and two went away. I did not get the train. And this intelligent man said, Bishop, don't worry. There is another train coming just now. You enter that way, in the next session they will be waiting. You can go. And he said, that is not the reason. I am sad. It was I who was supposed to go. They came to see me home. <laughs> <laughs> so these were just to make a little, a little, you, you are all tired and you look like waiting for the food, I think. <laughs> Amen. If you call the Father very often says, you are the church to the youth. Then I am very jealous nowadays. We all widows are there, so many sisters are there, so many elderly people are there. The group says that you are the church. Oh. Why? Only the youth are in the church. Only you are in the church. I am going to question you next week I will see him. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say, this saying, sometimes at the day he falls and says that you are the church to the day. We can say this to everybody. To the priest we can say you are the church. To the bishops we can say you are the church. For example, Ignatius of Andrew said, where the bishop is, there the church. They see me by in Latin we will say, Ubi Episcopus, Ibi Ecclesia. Where the bishop is, they are the church. That means without the bishop there cannot be a church. So, that's the thing. So when the Holy Father or anybody says that the youth is the church, that means you have to become the church. Everybody in the church has to become, has to take the reality of the church. You should feel with the church, speak with the church, act with the church, and become the church. Church is the presence where, place where God is present and active. So this is the way that we make the church. Don't think that uh, others are making the church. We are the people who make the church. You see, Daisy was speaking, and she said about her identity here, or your identity here, it is very difficult to realize. What are we? I will tell you, you are Indian Americans. <laughs> you are Indian Americans. You cannot be another. Whatever you may try, you cannot be, you cannot but be Indian Americans. So as Indian Americans, make your identity, identity. You can move into society as America is the only country in which everybody can have a place and a role to play. This is the country where you can have the greatest experience of human freedom, I will tell you. In the whole world, United States is the country where you can enjoy the freedom which God has given to every human being. Who is who is, uh, who does not enjoy the freedom here? Everybody has the freedom here. So, as Indian Americans, you can enjoy your freedom, you can develop your personalities, you can live your faith as a fellow of your Catholic, and you can give your contributions to this great nation. So, you should be happy about this. I will tell you that you are the happiest Lord here in the United States because you have a tradition to give to this country. The tradition of St. Thomas Christians, the faith which St. Thomas experienced and which is given over to the generations of these 2000 years. And you are the wearers of that faith here in this great country and you can share it with your fellow countrymen here. So don't worry about your identity, 
you are really having a beautiful identity of your being, your own Malwar Catholic of St. Thomas tradition, and by and by you will become really meaningful citizens of this country. You see, life is a question answered only by living it. Life is a question answered only by living it. It is your life that makes meaning to what is life. It is not a reality in the atmosphere. It is in each one life. Life becomes meaning. Life for me is my life. Life for each one of you is your life. And it is up to you to make it what it is. Through your life, you have to make what life is for you. I don't know, I'm a little philosophical. You may be struggling to understand what I mean. All of you get it? Life is what you live. What you live is your life for you. You cannot have my life. I cannot have your life. Each one makes his own or her own life. So what life is, is answered by your own life. So please take seriously the life which God has given to you. Nobody else can make your life. Only you. So your identity will be realized by your own life. In Spain, the Holy Father gave a theme for the youth, rooted in Christ for the witness of faith. Rooted in Christ. So I will tell you, the role model for you is no other person than our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is before you. And if you love Jesus and make you be so, then you will have a meaningful life. It is Jesus that gives meaning for your life. And this meaning you get in the church. Jesus is in the Bible. Jesus is in the liturgy. Jesus is in the Urbana, which they mentioned. Jesus is in the sacraments. Jesus is in the family. Jesus is in the communion of the church. Jesus is in the human society. So this one experience of Jesus will make you really what life is.